In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. You are about to hear the conservative voice. Freedom Report begins right now. Good evening and welcome to the Freedom Report, powered by the Madison Institute. I'm Daniel Moss, alongside Kelly Berry. Hey Daniel, how are you? I am awesome. Okay, Kelly, we got some, well, you know, you and I have been talking here for about 20 minutes prior to the show, we right. getting, getting our thoughts together, and um, I guess from what we, we've talked about, it really boils down to what's going to happen in November. That's right. And the repercussions of people voting in November. That's right. And uh, how we can either seal our fate, or we can um, what was we we can seal it, or we can uh, open up, open our, up destiny. our destiny. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so all of our information has been coming from this book uh, written by Andy Andrews, and you actually introduced it to us. Right. Uh, it's called How to Kill or How Do You Kill Eleven Million People. Kind of an intriguing title, isn't it? It is. It, 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 if, even if you hadn't said something, looking at that on the bookshelf, you know, you, you're going to pick it up. Uh, why the truth matters more than you think. Now, what have we been talking about now for weeks and weeks and weeks? Weeks and weeks of the truth. The yeah, truth, that's right. Revealing and restoring truth and what the truth does. Because the truth will set you free. Exactly. And where there is no truth, you know, you're in bondage. That's right. Uh, uh, now, the, the principles in this book... Uh, it basically answers the question. How do you kill 11 million people? And I don't want to give it away, but I'm going to answer the question. You lie to them. That's right. What are we talking about here, Daniel? This this book is, is really drawing a parallel between um, what happened in World War II. It's a summary of what happened in World War II when, when Hitler was able to kill over 11 million people in, in both Germany and, and Poland and Czechoslovakia and and so forth. It wasn't just Jewish people. Mm -hmm. uh, the book actually points out that there were there were Christians in there. There were, um, you know, people who were underprivileged. There were people who were sick. There, there were um, um, uh, other other faiths. Yeah, and just there were average everyday people who disagreed with the government. That's right. Yeah, political di distance. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, people like Dietrich Bonhoeffer. You know, um, uh, Nima, Niemöller and, and company. Right. You know, there were. 10% of the pastors, there are 15,000 pastors in Germany at the time, 10% of them disagreed, and those 10% were, wow. you know, were, were eliminated. So don't you wonder about the other 90%? It does, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, because I don't think they fared very well in, in the eyes of, uh, of posterity since then. So. No. But, uh, but, but you lie to them. Um, and, and that's why it's so important for us to, to, to know the truth. Uh, the, the other part about this book that it points out is that not only um, do you lie to them, but the government lied to them. Right. Um, if you look at what happened in Germany in 1932, there was, a, there was a, the two uh, people for prime minister at the time was uh, the Communist Party mm -hmm. and the Democratic Socialist Party. Yeah, what kind of... <laughs> and that was your right. choice. Yeah, what kind of choice is that? Right. right. And so they did not like communism. So they voted for the Democratic Socialist Party, which was a Nazi party. Right, which promised great things. They did. And they delivered for the German people for five or six years. Right. Uh, turned, they went from, you know, the economy being broke, people out of work, to incredible affluence. But, but there was a price. There was a right. huge price that they paid for that. It was um, what they didn't know. It, it's what they didn't know. So they were lied to. 
so how, how do you how do you talk? Uh, I've been doing a lot of research on this uh, recently, and and it's fascinating to me how through lies mm -hmm. that 11 million people were led to their death willingly mm -hmm. because you didn't see major uprisings. You didn't see large groups of people right. that were fighting against them. They willingly packed up their bags, mm -hmm. got on those cattle cars, went to the concentration camps and didn't, didn't even try to mm -hmm. resist. And, um, and I see the same kind of mentality happening here in America today, Daniel. Right. I, I see the, the number of people that are just willing to accept uh, whatever our government right. tells us. And I think the difference between what went on in 1945 and what's going on now is then there, all these lies were told under the umbrella of security. Now it's even worse because our lies are being told under the umbrella of convenience. That's right. Oh, and security too. I mean, they're well, using yeah, the, right. the fear of terrorism against us. Right. Let me give you some statistics that's kind of alarming. In Germany in 1932, 75% of the Germans were members of churches. Mm-hmm. 75% of the people. Wow. In America today, according to USA Today, 75% of the people claim to be Christian. Mm. Does that... Yeah, uh, the perfect parallel there. Doesn't that parallel, is, isn't it something? We have, and yet of those 75% who claim to be Christians, uh, we know that there's 100 million people that mm -hmm. that equates to that claim to be Christian. And yet, of those 100 million people, if they voted to Christian values, we would never be having this discussion. Right. And if that 90% of pastors would have stood by their Christian values, exactly. those whole congregations would have known and understood. Exactly. So we have a crisis here of epic proportion, I think, in the church. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have a crisis of, of people not being able to discern truth from, from lie. Exactly. It goes back to the century old question, what is truth? That's right. And so we end up with uh, we end up with a group of people who who realistically uh, can be led to do whatever. Mm -hmm. And because that's what their government tells them to do. And that's a very dangerous position to be in. It is. You know, between now and November, we've got to get out and vote. Mm -hmm. We we have got the Christians they're listening to our program. Have all need to go out and buy. Everybody needs to go out and buy a copy of this book. Okay, we really need everybody to get this book and recommend it to other people because this book, while it's only it'll take you twenty minutes to read it, it's not the panacea of all books, but it, it boils it down to the to the essential elements of truth that happened in nineteen thirty two, and and is re happening in this country today. People say, "Oh, you're an extremist." No. When you really start paying attention to the parallels, mm -hmm. um, the same things are happening today. Um, could this ground that we hold so sacred be the ground of the deaths of 11 more million? Could America be could, could America be the site of the next Holocaust? Well, we already are. And answer that question. Got problems with these? Ants, bees, roaches, termites, ticks, spiders, or fleas? Call Safari Pest Solutions. They can tame your jungles. Their staff combines for over 50 years experience in the pest control industry. Their services are thorough and their prices are honest, fair, and reasonable. Call Safari Pest Solutions now at 205-578-BUGS. That's 205-578-2847. Do you need help promoting your business? Do you want to have that special day captured forever? Or that first Christmas or first birthday never forgotten? Then contact Celebrity Productions. We offer wedding videos of photography, picture slideshows of music, video editing, television commercials, and much more. So if you are ready to do business, contact Mark Bosch with Celebrity Productions at 205 434 1773 or mark.celebrityproductions at gmail.com. 
Celebrity Productions, here for all your video capturing needs. Burns Food Store on Highway 431 in Sardis, a convenient locally owned store offering groceries at affordable prices. Burns provides fresh ground beef, fresh cut meats, fresh produce, and fresh dairy products every day and features weekly specials on brand name canned goods, drinks, and paper goods. Burns Food Store, Highway 431 in Sardis, your local place to shop for fresh food at affordable prices. And welcome back to the Freedom Report, powered by the Madison Institute. I'm Daniel Moss, alongside Kelly Berry. Yep. All right, so is America the site of the world's next Holocaust? Well, I think the Holocaust is ongoing now, Daniel, since 1972. We've killed over 50 million of our fellow citizens uh, in the name of abortion, in the name of convenience. And Mm so I don't think the answer is, uh, is America the site of the next Holocaust? It is. Right. Uh, the question is, how much worse is it going to get? Right. And that answer will be defined by those who know the truth, whether or not they're going to stand up and say it. That's right. Got an interesting story out of the book, How, how Do You Kill 11 Million People by Andy Andrews, uh, of a parallel that we can draw from the German people during the Holocaust. This is uh, a story told by a lady who um, went to a church. I believe she lived just outside of Dachau. Right, and they, the railroad that carried the Jewish people was right behind the church. Right. Listen to the story. We heard stories of what was happening to the Jews, but we tried to distance ourselves from it because we felt what could anyone do to stop it. Each Sunday morning, we would hear the train whistle blowing in the distance. Then the wheels coming over the tracks. We, ca- we became disturbed when we heard the cries coming from the train as it passed. We realized that it was cr- carrying Jews like cattle in the cars. Week after week, the whistle would blow, and we would dread to hear the sounds of the cries of the Jews en route to the death camp. Their screams tormented us. We, kn- we knew the time that the train was coming, and when we heard the train whistles blowing, we began singing hymns. By the time the train came past our church, we were singing at the top of our lungs. If we heard the screams, we sang, we sang loud, more loudly. Soon we heard, no, we heard them no more. Years have passed, and no one talks about it, but I still hear, hear those screams. Or I still hear the train whistle in my sleep. The key question there to me, Daniel, was in the very first paragraph there. What can we do to right. stop it? Seventy-five percent of them were Christians at the time. Exactly. The minority was the ones that were, I mean, that they were dictating what was going on in Germany at the time. Exactly. So what could they do about it? They could have united and stood up. They could have voted differently in thirty-two exactly. as well. And but they didn't. They no. chose not to. They chose to distance themselves. They chose to sing louder. I'm really wondering if that worship really did any good. They chose to sing louder instead of hearing the cries of those that were going to their death. Right. You know, there's a lot of people, if you do the research, you find out one of the first things that they did uh, when when they liberated the camps was they forced all the existing Germans in the nearby towns to go tour them. Mm-hmm. Right after they were liberated. And, and most of the people that came out of there, there's video showing them coming out of there, uh, just beside themselves, uh, you know, crying, uh, some people convulsing, uh, just because of the horror that was going on there. And yet they lived outside the gate and never, never occurred to them. Right. And, and that was the result of, of continually being lied to. Mm-hmm. Now, we are in a situation together. Now, this is not a Republican-Democrat issue. Mm-mm. This is a truth versus lie issue. Right. We have people in both parties that are that are partaking of this. Right. So I don't want people out there thinking that we're just, you know, we do talk a lot about Republicans and, and we don't like Democrats. But right. but this issue we're talking about here is an issue of truth versus lie, mm-hmm. and and that is that there's people on both on both parties and all parties that are participating in this lie. Right. And we have got to, as Christians, have got to know the truth. We have got to dig deep 
not only into into our faith, but we also got to dig deep into uh, the, the current events, the, the discussions in Congress, the discussions mm -hmm. in the news media. What is really going on in our government? Because right. because literally, Daniel, lives depend on it. And, and one of the things that really disturbs me is when you see the Department of Homeland Security issuing manuals that's saying if you are a Christian, if you believe in the Second Amendment, right. uh, if you are if you believe in the millennial reign of Christ, that you are a terrorist. Right. They are literally putting the badge, the gold star that they placed on the Jews, on the Christians now, and our current government is doing that. Mm -hmm. Now you can get mad at me for saying that because they are all Democrats now, if you want to. But their actions speak louder than their words. Right. And we as Christians have got to start paying attention to the actions of our government. Quit listening to the rhetoric. Mm -hmm. Because in this current administration, if you listen to what they say, they're actually doing the opposite. Mm -hmm. And we have got to, not only at the, at the national level, Daniel, but at the state level, we've really got to start paying attention to what our leaders are doing. Because like I said two weeks ago when we did the March 9th <coughs> video, we do not elect these people to replace our rights. We don't right. give our rights away when we... They are there to represent us because we can't go. Right. So are, do they represent your values? Exactly. And in most cases, what's going on in, in Washington does not represent right. my values. Well, Hitler said that it was easier to sell the people a big lie. Yeah. It's an a, old... Than a small one. It's no. an old Arab proverb that said, if you tell a lie big enough and long enough... People, begin to, People begin to believe it. Right. And that's exactly what they're doing. And so we... Because as we pointed out, it didn't start yesterday. No. It started a long time ago. That's right. It goes this all the way back to um, Harvard. It does. So we are, we have really got to, st we've really behind the curve, but we as Christians have got to lead us out. We are, we have the truth. We have the Holy Spirit within us. Mm -hmm. We have got to be the ones that lead us out of this, this situation that we are in. So how we lead us out is coming up next. Does your business need any type of office supplies or office furniture? If so, we recommend Business Products and Services of Alabama. Business Products and Services is locally owned and operated and offers competitive discount pricing that's guaranteed on every product selected from their vast online catalog. Orders can be placed by phone with Alabama-based customer service reps, or you can utilize their easy online ordering system. Either way, you'll receive free next-day delivery. So, if you're ready to do business with a just and honest Alabama company, contact Business Products and Services at 205-290-9303 or online at B. PSOrder.com. Do you need help promoting your business? Do you want to have that special day captured forever or that first Christmas or first birthday never forgotten? Then contact Celebrity Productions. We offer wedding videos of photography, picture slideshows of music, video editing, television commercials, and much more. So if you are ready to do business, contact Mark Bosch with Celebrity Productions at 205-434-1773 or mark.celebrityproductions at gmail.com. Celebrity Productions, here for all your video capturing needs. Got problems with these? Ants, bees, roaches, termites, ticks, spiders, or fleas? Call Safari Pest Solutions. They can tame your jungles. Their staff combines for over 50 years experience in the pest control industry. Their services are thorough and their prices are honest, fair, and reasonable. Call Safari Pest Solutions now at 205-578-BUGS. That's 205-578-2847. Burton's Food Store on Highway 431 in Sardis, a convenient locally owned store offering groceries at affordable prices. Burton's provides fresh ground beef, fresh cut meats, fresh produce, and fresh dairy products every day and features weekly specials on brand name canned goods, drinks, and paper goods. Burton's Food Store, Highway 431 in Sardis, your local place to shop for fresh food at affordable prices.
Welcome back to the Freedom Report, powered by the Madison Institute. I'm Daniel Moss, alongside Kelly Berry. All right, so we left off with the question, how do we stop this process we're going down? Um, I've got two things I want to read. Uh, the first one is a quote by Plato. Okay. See, Plato says, The punishment which the wise suffer who refuse to take part in government is to live under the government of worse men. So, you know... The, the wise do not get involved. So it goes back to what our stats said a minute ago. Those who know the truth have got to get involved or we're going to continue to be ruled by the untruth. Yeah, he also said that a little different way too. He said that uh, those who fail to get involved with government will be ruled by their inferiors. Mm -hmm. Inferiors, exactly. Um, which, is, which is a sobering thought, but it's the same thing you just said. He, he just said it two different ways. And Hitler said... Uh, how fortunate for leaders that men do not think. Yep. You know, and it's it, when you're thinking about it, it's, you think, well, it's easy for him to have said that, but it's so true today as well. Absolutely. I mean, w Barack Obama can put out a video, and in less than 24 hours, from one side of the country to the other, will have seen it. Yep. And probably not thinking anything about it. Full of lies. Right. Truths. I mean, uh, untruths. Half-truths. Right. And lies. You've got a quote on lies. Well, you know, uh, Joseph Goebbels, who was the propaganda minister for the Nazis. The master of lies. He, he, he was one of the masters. Said, if you tell a lie big enough and keep repeating it, people will eventually come to believe it. The lie can, only be, can be maintained only for such a time as the state can shield the people from the political, economic, and or the military consequences of the lie. It thus becomes vitally important for the state to use all of its powers to repress dissent, for the truth is the mortal enemy of the lie. Mm -hmm. And thus, by extension, the truth is the greatest enemy of the state. Wow. Interesting, isn't it? It is. Do you remember, did you read Animal Farm? Mm -hmm. The book Animal Farm by I George did. Orwell? Very interesting because, you know, he in Animal Farm, they talk a lot about doublespeak. Mm -hmm. They talk a lot about... Uh, uh, telling people what they want to hear versus right. th what the truth really is. And and we've got a lot of people doing that right now. Right. Um, it's, it, it's just amazing how people will just blindly listen and, and, and you tell me what you, what you want to hear. Oh, okay, I'll just I'll follow you. Right. And it's interesting, just the story of, them, of the, the, the Germans bringing the communist leader to Russia. And they, they actually locked him in a, a, a rail car mm -hmm. so that his communist ideas wouldn't spread to their country. Right. And just, and she, they, I mean, they, they, they knew it. They, they knew just what Go Goebbels said, that the truth is the greatest enemy of the state. Mm -hmm. And they knew that if he, that, that his words were so corrupted, and that people would believe it. I mean, because you preach a message long enough, as he said, people begin to do it. But do you know where he got that, that, that quote from? I don't. From the Muslims. That's actually an old Arab Muslim proverb. Oh. And, and, and Goebbels, actually, uh, the, uh, the Grand Mufti of uh, Palestine was actually one of the advisors for, uh, mm. for Hitler and Goebbels and, and setting all this up. Right. So, but that actually, that 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 tell a lie big enough and keep repeating it will become become the truth. That's where that came from. So, how do we get ourselves out? We vote, right? Voting is the way we in America have to get ourselves out. You know, um, and we have the opportunity every two and every four years to vote. Mm -hmm. But um, but the problem is, is that we have like we talked about earlier in the show, a hundred million Christians could change the future in the course of this country. Right. But how do we get those 100 million Christians to see the, to see the truth instead of believing the lie? Right, because as he says in the book, in the past quarter century, all elections have been dictated by less than 10 million ballots cast. Yeah, and that's the difference between the two challengers, whether it be the Democrat, or Republican, or vice versa. So less than 10 million. In the last election, Barack Obama only got 57 million votes. Well, and that 100 million that didn't bother to vote could have swayed. Absolutely. If just 1% or 2% of the church had actually gone and voted. 
Barack Obama wouldn't be president. He would not be president today. We wouldn't be having this problem we're having right now. Right. So it's 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 the fact that we need to go back. Not only you and I spend a lot of time talking about the Constitution, Declaration of Independence, the founding of our country, but it's not just that. It's just we have got to understand what are the principles, the Christian principles that those documents were founded on, and we have got to reassert them into our way of life. Now, I'm not trying to make everybody, you know, uh, uh, drop what they're doing, but the fi fundamental principles. Mm -hmm. The principles of Christianity have got right. to be reestablished in this country if our republic is going to survive. And those are principles of truth. Absolutely. And the truth is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's correct. And it's alive and well today. That's correct. So we, as Christians, have got to reapply those same truths that our founding fathers used 200 years ago to our lives today. And in moving forward, we can recreate that shining city on a hill as Ronald Reagan said. That's right. And I believe this book... Everybody go get a copy of this book, How to Kill 11 Million People, because this book could be the spark that could cause this revival in this country. And I think we can get the link to Amazon on our website. On our website. Um, and, and there are many pastors, that. Daniel, that are taking this book, and they're just reading it as their sermon to the congregation, because it's only about a 20-minute read if you mm -hmm. sit and read it. But there are many pastors that are taking this book and are just reading it to their congregations, People are getting saved. Right. They're getting woke up because people realize that there is a truth. And when people right. begin to read this book, you begin to understand that you are being lied to. When you begin to read the truth, things get stirred up. That's right. Well, Kelly, we're out of time. Great um, discussion today. It, it has been. Uh, thank you for viewing today. Uh, we would like also thank our sponsors because they are, they keep us on the air. Uh, remember that the conservative voice stops right here because we are definitely very much. You're the God of this city. You're the King of these people. You're the Lord of this nation. You are. You're the light in this darkness. You're the hope to the hopeless. promoting your business? Do you want to have that special day captured forever or that first Christmas or first birthday never forgotten? Then contact Celebrity Productions. We offer wedding videos of photography, picture slideshows of music, video editing, television commercials, and much more. So if you are ready to do business, contact Mark Bosch with Celebrity Productions at 205-434-1773 or mark.celebrityproductions at gmail.com. Celebrity Productions, here for all your video capturing needs. Got problems with these? Ants, bees, roaches, termites, ticks, spiders, or fleas? Call Safari Pest Solutions. They can tame your jungles. Their staff combines for over 50 years' experience in the pest control industry. Their services are thorough and their prices are honest, fair, and reasonable. Call Safari Pest Solutions now at 205 Five seven eight bugs. That's two zero five five seven eight two eight four seven.